All right, folks, Peter Snowtor Films coming back with another one. We just went and caught some bait, which is little bluegills. This is new to me. I got my buddies here with me. <laughs> We're going catfishing. Channels, apparently they want flatheads. I am by no means a catfisherman. If you watch my videos, I've caught plenty of catfish, but I'm not a catfisherman. So these guys are going to, I don't know, we're going to fish late into the night, whatever. They can tell you the gig. I don't have a clue. Apparently everybody likes to eat flatheads. Never had one. I've had catfish other places. My preference, I guess not the top of my list, but never had a flathead. So I could eat my words on that one. But we'll go over and talk to these boys and stay tuned. This could get funny. There's Walkie down there. Oh man. Oh man, he says. You don't like cameras. What's going on, YouTube? What, what's this guy's? Ponchum. He's Ponchum Nate, right? So what, what's the plan of attack here? You're telling me I'm not a catfisherman. Well. Bluegill is your to-go bait, I guess. My to-go bait would be some, uh, probably like a smaller, like, dogfish even. Really good. Nothing that's got spines, bones, something, because they got to spin that bait in their mouth until they get it head going down so when the fins open up, it won't lodge in them, you know what I'm saying? So, this is much. This is Willie, folks. If you look at the goose pounding video, he's on there. <laughs> he, he was the camera guy. Camera guy. I did freaking awesome. I did awesome, it, I too. I it out, so I was like, what do you do? <laughs> you grab a camera. Just sitting there. Oh, where's the whiffs at, boys? Where's the whiffs? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you pretty much want to find a, what would you say, Nate? Corner? Yeah, corner? Eddie. Eddie's? Down trees? And a heavy rig here. And uh, I usually run like six, eight ounce sinkers. Um, some guys hard line them. I run a lot of drag system. Let them take it. And explain to me what that is because I have no idea. Uh, so like hard lining is uh, where you'd pretty much just be going for like monsters, you know. They're going to take it whether they're going to take it or not. It kind of keeps you away from the smaller fish too but a small fish is fun to reel in too i guess but you guys see the flatheads they're the ones that get huh yeah so like your normal your catfish and uh what would you say they had the meat flakes apart yeah kind of like chicken it's like no like your normal bluegill meat or whatever it's got like sections where your meat breaks off after it's cooked the flathead meat's more like a scallop lobster where it's like like what would you say, the fibery, coarse fiber, fibery yeah. where it's meshed together. Really? I didn't know Yeah, that. it's awesome. It's like a scallop. How do you make them? I don't know. I mean, I just chunk them up probably like one and a half by one and a half inch chunks and... Just cube them basically. Cube them yeah. and fry them or uh, they actually, like I said, they hold their consistency even if you boil them and then dip them in butter or something like that too. But yeah, they're by far the most awesome meat on the river, that's for sure. So stick with me. These guys are gonna show me the way. I I'm like we'll I said, get a pull in your hand. By, yeah, by no I'll means the, I'll grab the camera. I am by no means gonna do any talking because I <laughs> caught plenty of catfish in my life, but I am not a cat fisherman, so I've never eaten flathead. Never no, tried it. Someone end up with a rod in his hand one way or another tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this this that's guy just already. It. What'd you do smooth? You can just talk to me. What, what happens here? I don't, I don't know. So we just had a good hit. Bent over. Uh, or you'll see your bluegill be chasing, dancing your rod or whatever. It's something usually, like if it's set now for a while, it's been soaking for 35 minutes, I'd say. Um, so we had a good hit. Um, we're going to, now we're just waiting. Hopefully, it'll come back on it. Stick Takes with sometimes us. 10 minutes, 
could be a catfish too. They'll hit a live bluegill too, and they'll just bat, 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 but they normally won't commit to it. We'll see, folks. So these guys are gonna show us the way here. Walk well. <laughs> he's, he's always on him. He's always on the fish. Always, okay, on always back to the camera, but he's pretty always in it. Always, Nate, you must sit. I don't want to talk. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, these boys mean business. I mean, look at this setup here. Yep, never seen that before. But literally, I went over to relieve myself, and I hear all this clicking, and. Willie had a big fish break him right off. <laughs> so, not a good start. But I heard all this clicking. I was like, hey, what's that clicking? Yeah, there's a rod going out. So, stay tuned. We'll see what happens. Sun's going to go down here pretty soon, but hopefully we get into something crazy. All right, Wolkie's hooked up. Kid's on it. The old donkey slayer here. Oh, he snapped me. Nope, he pulled out. They might have snapped me. Mm -hmm. Fucker snapped me, dude. Uh -uh. Yeah, swear to God. Broke you off, too? Yep. Nope. 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 Yep. Yep. Unreal. Unreal, Neil. Fuck. Nate won't talk anyway, no. so I'll talk. Well, Willie will talk. What happened there? That's two in a row. That was a good fish. I don't know. Bad, Willie, what, what bad knots. What? Bad knots are sharp sandpaper mouse. When Ooh. they run with it, it can gnar the line That's up. That's just walleye line for you. Yeah. <laughs> that, that could be it. That sucker was going though. That'd be uh, just Best line you can use is probably like your tip-up line, you know? Your your black or red tip-up oh, line. Heavy, straight-up line. Huh? Like a yarn. Not a yarn, but... <laughs> String. That's fuckers going. Just let it hang out for a second. Holy fuck it, Rick. Must have really rattled it. Well, did yeah. you hear the first one? The well, second one? It was right loud. <coughs> That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I hear that. <laughs> oh man, you're touching it? <clears throat> What are you doing? On the fucking walleye rig. <laughs> That's where they always bite too. Mm -hmm. Every single one's on the walleye rig. Dude, rattle one of the bells right off the fucking. That first one was like that second one. I was like, geez, you hear that one running twice. over? Wait, they can only hear. You know, I can't. Like that that. Caught him. Make a mallet duck float in the duck. Blind. Somebody on the bridge or the street lights. Right? That's the street lights, a bridge. I see the lights. I don't think that's a backyard. Light them up. Behind the tree now? No fish, folks, but we got shot? deer across the river. Two shot. Two shot. Nah, you might need BB for that one. <laughs> right there. But no fish. 45 yards. Two shot. No, guaranteed. <laughs> Been waiting all night, folks. Still no fish. I don't know if I can zoom in on these guys. Oh, oh, there's a bell. Still nothing. It's 11 o'clock. I might put this video up just show that the night might be a bust. <clears throat> Eat my cock, come on. Good times with, <laughs> with these guys.
it's not always about catching. It's about having fun. Suck the dick. They're down there just destined to catch one. But it ain't happening. <laughs> Nate, Willie. There you go. No fish. Really eventful night. Lots of stories, though. And that's what it matters. Half the time, it's just the fun with people. What you're looking at the headlamp. Two guys standing right there. Nate, Willie.